Shalom, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachaha Korash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation as always to the elect. And uh, I was reading uh, a little bit earlier and I came across Micah, the seventh chapter, and the spirit just jumped on me to uh, do a video on it in its entirety. And um, as we read this chapter, you'll see a lot of the things that we uh, personally um, go through as men of the Lord, as prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, Micah himself, you know, he, he puts forth those frustrations in this chapter. All right. The whole book is a, a great read. A lot of heavy prophecies were given unto him. Even the prophecy directly of the Messiah coming through the line of Judah. You can read that in Micah, the sixth chapter, you know, um, pleading with Israel. He prophesied during the Assyrian captivity, which was uh, right before the Babylonian captivity in which our people were uh, just doing wickedness, you know, corrupt leadership, you know, corrupt ways, just a lot of corruption. And it led to depravity, you know, our people being, you know, put in a low state by the Lord himself. He also prophesied the destruction of uh, the temple um, and how the Babylonians would come. That happened, I believe, about 150 years after his death. He was a contemporary of um, Isaiah, Amos, um, uh, Jeremiah and Hosea, I believe, you know, he prophesied during, uh, those same time frames as those men. And, um, I'm going to start here at verse one. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll start in the previous chapter at verse eight, because this is what the Lord requires of us as a nation, man. You know, as, um, we always say, you know, the, the nation of Israel was the only nation given the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. They were the only nation given that righteous way, you know, going all the way back to Adam, you know, through um, Abel, then Seth, you know, passed all the way down was the ways of righteousness given to the nation of Israel. So, you know, amongst that, the Lord always, um, you know, throughout history in our people's rebellion, the Lord always left particular men who would uh, cry because of Israel's ways, speak against them and tell them, um, you know, to come back to the Heavenly Father, man. And, you know, we hope to be a part of that legacy, which is what we're uh, doing, you know, and it comes with a whole hell of a lot, you know, mentally, spiritually, physically, you know, this ministry can weigh on you. But the, the Heavenly Father has put a spirit on us to continue to overcome what we go through and to continue to go out and fight. But ultimately, um, this is uh, Micah 6. And uh, eight, it says, um, he, he have showed me, O man, what is good and what doth Yahweh require of thee, but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. Yahweh's voice crieth unto the city and the men of wisdom shall see thy name. Hear ye the rod and, uh, and who hath appointed it. Okay, so the Lord's voice is crying throughout the city. And what is he and what are we telling you, man? To to fear the Lord, man, to to do justly. All right? To come back to the law, statutes, and commandments through faith in Yahweh Shai, man. To love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God, and that's not what you see amongst our people when you look out, man. And uh and and the main place where you don't see this is amongst people who know that they're Israelites, man, they're treacherous. You know, they're, they're self-willed, they're wicked. They don't care about the overall picture over their own lust in their bellies. You see that happening amongst teachers and men in Israel, and that has to happen. But we are men set up to cry out against that corruption and wickedness, man. The Lord's voice cried unto the city, and that city is Jerusalem, okay? Which it's a people before it's a place, and the men of wisdom shall see thy name, man, and they're going to repent. And come back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, because at the time that um, Micah was prophesying, there was a lot of sellouts doing a lot of wickedness, man. Now you have to understand that um, after the split, the northern and southern kingdom, you know, um, the, the northern kingdom got the, the larger lot of land, you know. <clears throat> and they had dwelt in Samaria and they were doing wickedness, man. And they continued in the ways of... Um, Rehoboam, okay, and Jeroboam, 
just doing wickedness after that split jake just had lost their way but the lord has always as we said kept particular men and micah was one of those men to cry out against jake's wickedness man so when you read uh micah 7 and 1 it says woe is me for i am as when they have gathered the summer fruits as the gra uh, grape gleanings of the vintage there is no cluster to eat my soul desires the first uh, ripe fruit and he's looking at his people he's looking at israel man they're they're, they're absolutely decimated they're 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 uh you know basically celebrating jesus christ because uh remember um what did uh jeroboam set up um he set up basically that goat and that 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 golden calf worship going back to egypt which is basically jesus christ man when you go into the research that basically that same god is being uh followed after by our people and what is it leading to their spiritual depravity man decimated spiritually having no understanding not being connected with their power and not being connected with your power at least to you being in a very low state and as men of the lord we we cry against it and we you know we make light of some of the things we see but we're tired of seeing our people in this stupid dumbed down state man that's why the prophecy of the two-thirds a lot of people you know look at it as us being evil or us going too far but that's actually mercy for our people to just be sent back to the spirit world and start over man because the way that they're living is not only destructive to themselves it's destructive to the nation man and that vibration has to be put out man okay it says the good man is perished out of the earth man and there is none upright among men they all uh, lie and wait for blood they hunt every man his brother with the net man and that starts from the the leader the leaders of our people they're a bunch of uh, adulterers spiritually physically they're not teaching our people the truth they're getting paid all of this damn money to feed you a message that's going to lead you further and further from the lord man okay and when you look around man you look at these these uh articles and things that brothers are sending stuff on world star hip-hop our people are absolutely destroyed man that's why you know to see this remnant of brothers and uh coming together and preaching this word along with the sisters who believe man we we are in a good case man we 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 can't take light of what the lord is doing because as the scripture said the love of many will wax cold, man. And you see that amongst our people. It's a very cold vibration, man. And it's like we we have this brotherhood, but yet we're still alone because we have this flesh. So it's, it's a very lonely road because these things that we speak out against and these things that we see, they all affect us in a way, man. And you can see that sentiment here uh, with Micah, man. It, the, the Looking at the way that Israel is, knowing that this is the nation that the Lord have set up to, to show forth works of righteousness and to teach all of the heathen how to live, man. You would never know it, man. Okay, but this all happened according to uh, uh, prophecy and disobedience. You know, disobedience really, really, really takes our people to a low state, man. But you've been taught to celebrate disobedience, sing disobedience. Okay, and now it's a part of your culture and who you are which disobedience all goes back to idol worship celebrating uh these different uh pagan deities whether knowingly or unknowingly really really takes you away from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. they all lie and wait for blood they hunt every man his brother with the net man everybody is everything is a scam everything is someone trying to you know uh take you out of what reality really is and lie to you get over on you get your woman whatever man that's the vibration amongst our people it says they that they may do evil with both hands earnestly you doing evil with both hands you ain't even trying to hide it man the prince ask it the judge ask it for a reward all of your leaders they're doing it for the money man you even have israelite leaders that that are uh, driven by the money you see not by the true intent on preaching the word now there's nothing wrong with supporting your leaders there's nothing wrong with a uh, man of the lord being taken care of by his congregation or by believers because that's what the levites were for that's what the priesthood you know ultimately they needed time to think but you have men who are driven by that you have men who that's all their that's that's their whole mo and if they don't get it you don't see them come around there's particular leaders that they're only you only see them pop up and teach when they're paid to show up somewhere 
and make a guest appearance, man. That ain't the spirit of David. David was on the front line with his uh, soldiers, man. That's what made him such a great leader. He was doing the work, man. Okay? It says, and, um, and the judge asked it for a reward, and that, will, that makes them to pervert judgment. Okay, uh, being driven by money makes you to pervert judgment, makes you to trim your way to seek love, makes you to cut off particular things that the Lord wants us to speak boldly about. You can't speak about them because you're driven by money, man. And we're tired of you niggas, man. But we understand that you have to be set up to draw out the men who the Lord want to destroy. Okay, so we have to be patient. At the same time, we speak out against them. We, we understand so we can't go crazy over it. And the great man, he uttered his mischievous de desire. So they wrap it up, man. And they, they mischievously desire riches that, to where they don't talk about the mark of the beast. To where they don't talk about what true sin is. Like you, if you want to go on a, a level of these Christian pastors, man. Okay, so they wrap it up. It says the best of them is as a briar, man. You're a thorn. Something that needs to be cut out. You see, the, 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 the preachers of our people, man, the leaders of our people, Al Sharpton, they're, they're literally a thorn. They're, they're going to prick you, man. But amongst our people, they're the best of them, man. Whether, even, even, even guys like Umar Johnson. Now, you have particular jigs who say good things, who, uh, who, who make uh, sense when they speak. You know, they speak, you know, uh, you know with, with big words and they may say things about how unjust esau is and this but they don't call him esau they they still uh subscribe to this black white african-american african thing they're a briar man they, they though you're hearing something you may think is good it's pricking you it's a thorn to you it's taking you backwards and that's the beauty of yahweh bashim yahweh shai man and how he on the left hand side has set up these particular leaders because you think you're actually hearing something good. But the whole time is set up to take you backwards, man. The most upright is sharper than a, a thorn hedge, man. The day of thy watchman and thy visitation cometh. Now shall be their perplexity, man. And right now, these particular leaders are getting ready to be visited by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The, 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 the wicked of our people who have taken this grace period and used it for an occasion to their flesh. They're going to be perplexed. Now, perplexity is going into being confused, man. Which that uh, uh, Yahweh Shai uh, uh, spoke about that. Maba, Mabawach, Mabawacha, Maba, Wacha, uh, uh, Nacha, Mabawacha. The Cha would be that uh, look like this, but it would be closed right here. So, Mabawacha. It says confusion, perplexity, confounded, and they're being confounded. Okay, guys like Al Sharpton, guys like Jesse Jackson, T.D. Jakes, then these uh, fake leaders in Israel, they're, they're going to be confounded, man. And the whole time you've had men just like Micah crying out against this madness, man. So now your perplexity is going to come up on you, man. And it came in that time and it's going to come in this time. It says, trust ye not in a friend, put not confidence in a guide. Because every, you know, pretty much everybody's full of shit, man. All right. If you're not a part of the elect, if you're not striving to be a member of the elect, I should say. If that's not at the, the house of David is not at the forefront of, of, of what you want in the earth. The throne of David, Yahweh Shai coming back then. Really, man, you, you, you I, limited conversation with you, man. You know, I have, I, you know, me personally, best friends in the world, man, that are actually cool as hell man but the fact that they speak against the bible they always talking about adultery you you really got to separate yourself from these guys man you know if you see them you know you you know it's all good what's up you know we could probably have a good conversation a drink or whatever but at the end of the day you can't put your trust in these people man okay you uh you can't put your trust in a leader who's telling you that uh, uh there's not going to be jacob's trouble you can't put confidence in men. You got to put confidence in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the men that they set up. Those are the true guides, man. The, and, and, and you know them by their fruits. You know them by what they're speaking of. You know them by their conversation. Okay? 
they're, they're, they're not trying to mislead you for personal gain, man. They're just giving you the truth according to the Bible, man, according to the spirit. So put not confidence in a guide, man. These, these, these uh, you know, snake oil salesmen out here, man. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom, man. You got to keep your mouth shut and watch what you say to these women. All that pillow talking, talking to women about camp affairs and speak, talk, uh, uh, complaining about brothers to, to the woman. You got to watch that stuff because angels are watching everything, man. Okay, keep thy mouth from don't, don't, it, it, this is telling you, you don't tell a woman everything, man. And what uh, uh, Micah is, 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 is talking about is he looking at the culture of his people, man. You can't trust these niggas. You can't trust these women. That's why we tell you, brothers, man, it's best if you have a woman or whatever you have, you may have two. Just sit down. Just calm down, man. Just chill the fuck out, man. Whatever it is, you need to sit your ass down and grow in the glory of your about Shemia Washai. Stop chasing and, 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 and behind these damn women, man. Because the more women you add to yourself, the more problems you have, the more decisions you have to make between the flesh and the, and the spirit and taking her out or the, the brotherhood. You know, all of these different things come with women, man. But ultimately, if you do have one, you, you watch what you say to her, man. We're living in a time where a lot of uh, things are going to happen in the earth that are going to cause people to wax cold against you, man. So be very, very wise in, in what you do, who you choose to lay with. Be picky, brothers. Be 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 uh, mindful of what you're saying. Be mindful of how you carry yourself and conduct yourself in this world. All right? And, 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 and everything else. Because Satan's setting traps, man. Okay? Be, be mindful, man. Understand and know when you're getting too far gone in that flesh and, you know, lust. You know, uh, nine times out of ten, Satan... It's setting a trap for you, man. So watch what you say to people. Watch how you deal with people in this world, man. All right. Um, let's read that again. Trust ye not in a friend. Put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. Because, man, these, 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 Satan is on these people in this world, man. Okay. For the son dishonoreth the father, the daughter rises up against her mother. Is this not what we're seeing right now? This is how you know this is the last generation, man. Okay? The daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own house. Now, Yahawashai quoted this direct prophecy showing you that the Old Testament is in synonymous with the New Testament, man. They're all It's all one book. It's just that the promise, the covenant was upgraded under Yahawashai, man. But this book is for us, the Israelites, the elect, anywhere it goes. Because this is hidden manna, man. And Yahawashai, he, he quoted this directly, I believe, in Matthew, the 10th chapter, man. Matthew 10, and I believe uh, 34, it says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I am not come to send peace, but a sword. <laughs> for I am come to set a man at variance against his father and a daughter against her mother. And the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law, a man's foes shall be they of his own household. So the Lord is gathering his elect. So as he gathers his elect, man, that, that process is, is going to be a lot of sifting, man. All right? It's going to be a lot of surprises. So you have to you be, be mindful of what you're saying and allowing these people. Don't, let not your left hand know what your right is doing. Now, ultimately, these people shouldn't have nothing evil to say of you, but they're going to be making things up when the pressure comes. Cause that pressure is coming, man. From to people who deal with you, to you know that that pressure is coming, man. Esau Edom is gonna come with all sorts of, of of shit, man. So just pray to keep your mind rooted and watch the energy you allow into your life, man. That that energy thing is real. You know the and the scriptures speak to all of these things, man. The world just thinks they're so deep, but the scriptures been saying these things, man. The energy you put out is gonna return unto you, man. All right, so you, you got to watch uh, uh, yourself, man. It says, a man's enemies are the men of his own house. And that's what that's where we are, man. This is a very uncouth, unsafe place, man, especially amongst you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Especially amongst Judah, man. There's no sense of unity, man. You can't trust a nigga, all right? It says, therefore will I look unto the Lord 
I will wait for the God of my salvation. Here it is. He's complaining about the state of his people, how corrupt they are. You know, the, the, the government affairs amongst Israel are absolutely wicked, wicked, pr wicked practices. The priest were doing wickedness. They were celebrating Jesus Christ, <laughs> that same goat that plagues Jacob to this day, going back to Egypt. So, so what did he say? Therefore, will I look unto Yahweh? I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O mine enemy. And see, Esau thinks he's getting ready to rejoice and set up this whole narrative against us. <laughs> it says, when I fall, I shall arise, man. And we did fall as a nation. And now we've raised up. See, Esau, Edom, and these heathen was, was, got so rich off of that downfall that they rejoiced, man, and they, they celebrated before they got to the finish line. You see, now biblical prophecy is upon your asses, man. And we're here, and we're a thorn in your side. And we know you're watching every video. Hey, the, the bottom line is no matter what you try to set up, no matter what lie you try to uh, forge or what false flag, the, the, the word of the Lord is going to come to pass, man, just as it always has. So rejoice not against me, O my enemy, because we're in this low state, no unity. You took the father out of the house, and that was a big blow when you when you messed up the family structure. See, everything Yahweh Bashim Shai has set forth, man, in its proper order is very important to follow. When those things are not followed, man, you, you have absolute disarray and, and, and um, decrepancy, man, uh, decay morally, man. Idol worship is very, very seriously... Uh, spoken against by the men of the Lord. That's why the Lord, uh, when he said we would be scattered amongst the heathen and learn their works, man, that, that was a big blow, man. You see? But Esau has thrived off of, uh, of the disobedience of the Israelites, and he's forged and financed the whole culture for you to continue down in that path, man. So to the point where they rejoice like they got the victory. Well, now the comeback story is on the rise, man. The, the, the elect are being raised up. So rejoice not against me, O oh my enemy, and you two-thirds, man, that come against us. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, Yahweh shall be a light unto me, and he is a light unto us. And how is he a light unto us in this time? Through the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, sent through Yahweh, Shai, man, to, get, to bring us back to the understanding of who we were. Okay? That's the true light. Because the, 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 the so-called light that rules this world is darkness, man. Okay? And we were in darkness, but the Lord sent us that light, man. Okay, through the priest, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, on the right-hand side, man. Sending down those gifts, okay? Now we know who we are. Okay? I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. And that's the mind frame of the elect. Because when you read Leviticus 26, for the Lord to have mercy on us, okay, what, what, what will be the qualifications, man? Leviticus 26 and 40 if they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass which they have trespassed against me and that they have also watched, walked contrary unto me and that I have also walked contrary unto them you got our people still don't want to acknowledge that a higher power is walking contrary unto us for us to be in such a low state but see the, the, the beauty of the elect is that we're confessing our iniquities we, we have the meek spirit enough to say, well, damn, let's listen to the Lord. Let's listen to the, the, these men that he sent through the spirit. Okay. It says in the iniquity of their father. So we've confessed our iniquity, man. We confess that a higher power has walked contrary unto us. We understand that we need Yahweh Bashim Shai in order to get out of this situation. We need divine intervention. This can't be fixed by a carnal movement or getting together some money or having a bank no this that won't fix what's going on between us and our power man repentance will okay and if there's some uh and have brought them into the land of their enemies if then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled and then they accept of the punishment of their iniquity i will remember my covenant with jacob also my covenant with isaac and also my covenant with abraham will i remember and i will remember the land so that's what's happening right now. The Lord, all right, is remembering through that repentance, through that sacrifice being offered up, man. So we have the mind frame to bear the indignation of the Lord, which that takes patience, man. Okay, that takes virtue. 
okay because as you're patient you there's particular things you're gonna have to uh, wait on man and suffer through so I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him because you understand that we deserve even worse until he plead my cause and that's the hope of the elect that's where our hope lies man not in this world not in, uh, uh, getting a better job although those things are blessings and do help out our hope is not the, the, the end all be all of our hope is the, doesn't uh, uh, end in this world man we're waiting on the Lord to plead our cause man because what has happened to us is a very very huge blow man <laughs> and only something of a higher power can do that you see do what the Lord did to the Israelites man what's that uh, Job Job chapter 10 uh, let's see here mm, maybe 11 Job 11 I'll take away the heart. Job 12 <clears throat> and 24. I start at 23. It says, He increased the nations and destroyed them. He enlarged the nations and straightened them again. He taketh away the heart of the chief people of the earth. He took our mind away, man. He took our, 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 our strength away. He took, you know, everything away from us and caused them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way. So we're the chief people of the earth, but the Lord has brought us down to a very low estate. Now you have to figure out why, man. And that's what the spiritual man is doing in these latter days, man. The elect, that's what we're doing. We're, 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 we're asking why and we're, we're, we're following the solution that Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, through the priesthood is sending man okay they grope in the dark without light he make it them to stagger like a drunken man so the chief people the top people of the earth are now wandering in the wilderness and darkness and groping without light man now the lord has sent us light okay but we and we have now that we understand this truth we have to bear the indignation of the lord because we sinned against him until he plead our cause and execute judgment for me he will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness, man. And we're beholding it through the prophecies being fulfilled. How much more when we get those new bodies and be crowned, man? Then she that is mine enemy shall see it. All right, you you, you loud mouth women, okay, who are in league with Babylon the Great, the whore, okay? And shame shall cover her which said unto me, where is Yahweh thy God? Okay? My eye shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire in the streets, man. And you have a lot of brothers, and they, they don't want to admit it, but the way that women are, it really affects them to the point where they try to act out on it as some woman hater. But really, you're just hurt. You're hurt at the condition that you have with your woman. You have no control. All right? They're absolute monsters, and it, it, it bothers you. You want to be in a situation, and I'm not afraid uh, to ashamed to admit it. I want to be in a situation to run to have a, a happy marriage. I want to I want to experience family. I cannot wait. Okay, I cannot wait. But the Lord is going to pay these wicked ass women back, brothers. Okay, who 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 have basically made an, a covenant with Esau Edom, man. They're even worse than Esau Edom, man. You 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 you're better off walking into a job with the supervisor being a white man or a white woman than a so-called uh, Negro, Latino, or Native American woman because they're going to uh, try to ruin your life, man. Now, some of them can be cool, but they, they, they shouldn't even be in those positions in the first place, man. And through these positions, they've been bold against the men of the Lord, man. Walking down the street, you know, when we're preaching, talking shit, you know, being down with the devil, man. Uh, 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 abortions, doing all of this wickedness, talking shit to the men of the Lord. You've had women who left men of the Lord because they got tired of the discipline. And now they're scoffing and talking shit. Uh, uh, women who were uh, once down with uh, understanding that they were Israelites. But all of that shit talking is going to be brought into remembrance. And the Lord is going to 
plead, plead our cause. Not only with Esau, Edom, and, and, and you know the men, but these women, and they're going to pay. They're going to be trodden down as mire in the streets, as the scriptures say, man. So Micah is going through all sorts of emotions in this book, man. And it resonated with me as I read it because these are the same things that we, you know, complain about and have worries about, man. But the Lord, he, he's not, hey, we, <laughs> the Lord hears us, man. And he's going to come through. It says, in the days that thy walls are to be built, in the day that the decree be far removed, okay? And the tabernacle of David is going to be rebuilt, man. And that day also shall come even to thee from Assyria and from the fortified cities, which basically is symbolic of Babylon the Great. Because when you type in Assyria and Egypt, Assyria, Egypt, those, uh, those captivities are always synonymous with the final captivity as well, man. This is um, Jeremiah 27 and 13. And it shall come to pass in that day that a great trumpet shall be blown. And that trumpet is speaking of that trumpet that Yahawashah said is going to be blown when he gathers his elect from the four corners of the earth, man. Okay? That great trump that's uh, talked about in Thessalonians where the dead shall be raised up first. And they shall come which were ready to perish in the land of Assyria and outcasts in the land of Egypt. This is speaking of the elect scattered in captivity man because assyria was a was a hardcore captivity and egypt was a hardcore captivity so the final captivity is likened unto assyria and egypt when you read in the scriptures but you have to have the spirit on you to understand that because a lot of people will dismiss this as something that already happened but you have to have the spirit on you it says and shall worship yahweh in the holy mount at jerusalem so the Lord is going to take us out of this last captivity, which is likened unto Assyria and Egypt, and put us back in our Holy Land, man. And that's all over the Holy Scriptures, man. Okay? Hosea 11 and 11. They shall tremble as a bird out of Egypt and as a dove out of the land of Assyria, because he's going to beam us up, and I will place them in their house, saith Yahweh. Okay? Zechariah 10 and 10, I will bring them also again out of the land of Egypt and gather them out of Assyria and will bring them into the land of Gilead and Lebanon and a place shall not be found for them, man. So this is speaking of the final captivity, but it likens it to Egypt and Assyria, man. So as Micah said here, Micah 7 and 12, in that day also he shall uh, come even to thee from Assyria and from the fortified cities and from the fortress even to the river and from sea to sea and from mountain to mountain notwithstanding the land shall be desolate because of them that dwell therein for the fruit of their doings and that land was ultimately jerusalem because it was sacked eventually uh, by the babylonians man because of jake's wickedness it says feed thy people with thy rod and, and see we're prophesying the exact same thing because that was basically martial law with the Assyrian Babylonian captivity did, you know, with the Greeks and the Romans. That was martial law was 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 placed upon you, you Jakes, you Israelites. And it's coming again. The Assyrian were known for their 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 uh, harsh military and, and punishment tactics. Well, Esau Edom is that Assyrian. As a matter of fact, when you get Isaiah 10. Who sent the Assyrian? Isaiah 10 and 5. O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger, the staff in their hand is mine indignation. So Esau, Edom is the sword of the heavenly father, just as the Assyrians were, to punish you Israelites. And this time it ain't, it's going to be on a whole nother level, man. They're going to, they got all sorts of torture tech. That's why we're, you got to fight to be covered, man. You shouldn't be rioting in the daytime, man. It's very, very serious things coming to the earth, man. You haven't learned from the wickedness of our forefathers that you need to be obedient and stop playing so many goddamn games? The flood didn't teach you? What happened uh, uh, with Assyria and Babylon, those, those things didn't teach you? The, the, the Greeks, this, so the, what happened in the garden, that ha what have you learned from that? Nothing, man. It says, feed thy people with thy rod, the flock of thine heritage, which dwell solitarily in the wood, 
in the midst of caramel, let them feed in Bashan and Gilead as in the days of old. Okay? According to those days of thy coming out of the land of Egypt, will I show unto him marvelous things. Because the Lord is getting ready to deliver us. This is going to be the new Passover when he delivers us out of this captivity, Babylon the Great, the very worst captivity, as well as the captivities where we were scattered. But Egypt, Babylon, and great America is the main captivity, man. And the Lord is going to gather us out of this place, man. It says the nations shall see and be confounded at all their might. Okay? The nations shall see and be confounded. And they're getting ready to be confounded, man. When we be beamed up. They shall lay their hand upon their mouth. Their ears shall be deaf. Imagine seeing a people that you deemed as low lives and and losers being beamed up into spaceships changed come down and beat your ass into subjection imagine that after a, a great a war ships come out of the sky and gather the elect <laughs> and and it, it, it said they they they're going to lay their hand upon their mouth man this is the power that we're dealing with this is the power that's dealing with us i should say yeah, how about Shai? And they're gonna be they're gonna be like, damn. It says they shall lick the dust like a serpent, man. And and this this ain't talking about them actually licking our feet, man. We ain't gonna have uh, uh kings and queens of the heathen uh, uh licking our feet. No, man. That ain't what that means. That's just symbolic of there's gonna be beneath us, they're gonna be put back. In their proper order as the heathen and we're going to be the head nation on the planet earth man and, and they're going to be our footstool like david said over edom shall i cast my shoe meaning your foot is over them you you have control over them okay the, the esau edom is going back on his belly as the serpent he was in the beginning man the the lowest of all of the nations man okay they shall lick the dust like a serpent. They shall move out of the of their holes like worms of the earth. They shall be afraid of the Lord our God and shall fear because of thee. And, and, and things are coming, brothers. These nations are getting ready to be flabbergasted by the power that's coming with what we're doing. So all we have to do is keep preaching, man. Who is a God like unto thee? See, Micah is he 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 spoke all of those frustrations talked about judgment now he's he, he's he re, he's rejoicing in the fact that there's going to come a day when the lord is going to take all of these heathen down man and deliver the elect who is a god like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and pass it by the tra transgression of the remnant of his heritage and that's how we're going to be delivered through the remnant that's why esau edom is going to try to come after the remnant it's the remnant that are keeping the word so that the tree may live revelation 12 and 17 and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed which keep the commandments of god and have the testimony of yahweh shai hamashiach and we are the ones that have the testimony so the fact that we are left and remain and the lord has showed you know favor towards us by giving us his word giving us the understanding okay uh, uh and hopefully pardon our transgressions man that's power man okay he's gonna pass by the uh, uh the, the 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 transgressions of the house of david through the mercies of david okay we are those gentiles okay it says um the remnant of his heritage he retaineth not his anger forever because he delighted in mercy so the lord although he did all of these harsh things to us although we've seen our people in this destroyed state he's he's having mercy at the same time man he will turn again he will have compassion on us the israelites he will subdue our iniquities and will and thou will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea they will be forgotten he's going to put the laws in us man thou will perform the truth to jacob and mercy and the mercy unto abraham which thou hast sworn unto our fathers from the days of old you see christians want to say that you see the christians want to just stop at abraham and then they don't want to go to isaac and jacob well there was a promise passed down and and, and the remnant amongst jacob are going to be the ones to as the fruit, first fruits to come into that promise man so hopefully i will edify it shalom